Manufacturers update and innovate the motorcycles raced in super motocross each year. Some years more than others. The 2024 KX450 is significantly updated with many of the changes derived directly from the Monster Energy Kawasaki race team. You know, we have a whole new frame, new engine, airbox, exhaust. The whole shock sits lower, right? We have a shorter shock, everything's moved, moved down. But everything being more centralized, like we have less pitch on it. And then how they work with stiffness and flex, it's heavily different. I don't think there's as much pitch. And what I mean by that, I don't think the bike is a teeter-totter as, as much as it was, which isn't a bad thing, but I think it makes your bike feel more stable. When you have pressure on the front end, you have a lot less risk for failure compared to the last one. You know, in Supercross, obviously we're working with a lot of really tight, steep transitions. The weight is transferring from the front to the back. And for me specifically coming into a corner, it, just feeling like I have even weight on the front end and just increased front end traction because the bike is feels like it's pitching less. It almost feels like the wheelbase is longer. That's the kind of, in layman's terms, that's the best way I can describe it. I've always been the most comfortable when the bike feels a little bit low in the rear. So I kind of run a really stiff front end and sometimes a bit of a low back end. But last year, in, in some of the injuries I was dealing with, we ran the bike quite a bit softer. When you get on the gas hard and it turns and it sinks down in the back, it becomes hard to kind of control the front because it's light. And when you're aiming for a rut that's um, you know, six inches wide, where you place the bike on exit of the turn becomes very important. So one of the things we've done with the 2024 is we've been able to stiffen it up, but keep the feel and keep the plushness in the bike, which in my experience, it's pretty rare. 